text and emails this weekend about, especially in the 120 class, about challenge questions. Okay? Now, one of your bonus questions, state what to do when you have a what? A challenge question. You're supposed to see me what? After class. After class. Now, I realize that some of y'all are introverts. And I realize, and I'm not talking about just this class, I'm talking about the millennials, okay? The only way that y'all contact anybody is through text, pretty much, all right, and email. And that's fine. I'm fine with that. But I do specify that when you have challenge questions, you, you, not, you don't send them to me. You see me after what? All right. Now, is everybody listening? Because I'm not going over any math, so y'all shouldn't be writing anything. Okay? So if you have a question about your test, even if it's 15 questions, which somebody, I gave the 120 class, I, I gave the 120 class a, a test with 30 questions on it, and I got 20, I got email with 20 questions. They, they, I guess they just took a screenshot or whatever. I got 20 screenshots. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I'm not going to look at it. Why? Why am I not going to look at it? One, have y'all ever seen screenshots taken? They're not very what? They're not very clear. All right? And two, I don't want to converse about your test, meaning a lot of questions, a lot of through email. I'm not going to do it. So you see me after class. That way I can pull up your test after class. I can look at the question. You can look at the question and tell me what's wrong if I can't figure it out. That's why I put that bonus question on there. When do you go over challenge questions? After class. Everybody got that? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, I hate to go over stuff like that, but the 120 class, they, had, like, they didn't have a clue what I was talking about, which they did because I went over all this stuff with each class. And I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I just got rid of all of them. Let me hold on a minute. There they are. Okay, so uh, Pendleton, you need to turn on the projector over there. Whenever you get a chance. So you all can't complain about not being able to see anything. And again, I'm sorry about the, uh, but that's the way things go, and I can't help that. If people would act right, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. I want you to write down this problem, and the reason I want you to write down this problem is because I want to show you how to use your stat plot and how to find your linear regression or your nonlinear regression. So go ahead and type these in your calculator. If you don't have a calculator, just write the table down and write down what we're going to do, okay? Okay, so Hubert. Yes. Um, when I'm doing homework um, in high school and I wasn't on the calculator drill team, so I have literally no clue um, basically how to work a grooming calculator. Okay. Well, that, that's good. I'm glad you asked that. I'm glad you wasn't on the calculator drill team because that is not an advantage. But I will show you how to type this in. That's what I'm going over it for. Because some of you might go into business classes later on. I know this is a college uh, algebra, and I know most of y'all are going to calculus. But some of you may get a question, maybe on a standardized test, that says find with your calculator the nonlinear model and that's what this is called nonlinear model in which y'all all see that that graph does not look like a parabola it's got a little bit of a swagger in it at the beginning and the right side looks like it is parabola but the left side down toward the bottom actually has a little bit of a swerve in it 
So you can't say it's a regular parabola. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit a parabola to the model. And I'm going to, while y'all are writing that down, i got to pull up, let me get out of this right quick and pull up the handy dandy calculator. Of course, I don't have it where I can pull it up. I have to go out of everything. Oh, one day, maybe 2024, maybe one day. And I'm just going to type it in. Now, what you need to do is hit stat. So if you got a calculator, hit stat button and edit. Now, when you go into stat and edit, you're basically going into the calculator spreadsheet. Okay? So hit enter. And this is what the spreadsheet looks like. Oh. And now you're just going to type in those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you're going to go over to the B column. I call it the B column because that's like an Excel spreadsheet. And then I'm going to type in 68, 71, 75, 79, 85, 88, 90, 90, 87, 82, 76, and 70. I'm also going to show you how to do this on Excel spreadsheet. I don't know if I showed y'all. I've been showing 109 things and y'all things, and I get them mixed up sometimes. So, now, after you have typed those in, if you've typed those in, I'll give everybody a minute or two to type those in with your calculators. I went over two announcements today since y'all are late. No laptops in class. And we are uh, challenge questions are be directed to me after class. I'm not going to go into the long spiel, but I've had two or three emails this weekend. Picture, people taking pictures of the. You don't need to do that. You need to see me after class. And no laptops. And you can blame the one or two people that have ruined it for all of you. And the one or two people are just one or two people that. Somebody emailed me about, and I'll tell you they're not at the Anderson campus. That's all I'm going to say. And they're not at the Oconee campus. Well, no, one of my classes, one email came from the Oconee campus, so, but it wasn't from this class because there's only one person there. So it couldn't be from her fussing about herself. So just like chewing gum, just like food in class, there's always one that's going to what? So screw it up a little. Uh, we're back to notebook and paper and pencil and calculator. All right, so we're typing these in and we're using your calculator. So if you got your calculator, get it out. And uh, hopefully y'all got those typed in. All right. Now, hit Y is equal. Now, if you want a stat plot, go to second Y is equal. And hit enter. You're going to go in the first one. And turn yours on. So hit enter on the on part. It is generically set defaulting to L1 and L2, so you don't have to do that. And now hit graph. Now, of course, we haven't got it in the right area. Looks like 0 to 1 and 60 to 14. Is that 140? What is that? 60 to what? Oh, 6 to 14. Okay, that looks like 60. All right, so I'm going to set my window. So hit window. And my X min is going to be 6. And my X max is going to be 14 because I'm using theirs. You would zoom out and zoom out till you find it. And then, of course, zoom back in after you found it. And enter. Now graph. Okay, so. Uh, 
my calculator's wigging out. I don't know why mine's doing this. I don't know why it's doing that because I can't figure this out. Let's go to zero to 14. I don't know what that six is right there. I know it's not 60 because from, from my days of being in elementary school, 60 does not come before 14. So I'm trying to figure out, I think that's zero to 16 is our 14. So let's go back to window and type in a zero. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Uh, mine says error syntax. Go back to your y is equal. I mean, go back to your second stat plot and make sure that your stat plot is on. Okay. Does it say on or off? One second. Second stat plot. It says it's on. Okay, make sure that you have the dot plot right there. Make sure you have it on. Yes, sir. Put a graph right. Huh? Can you put a graph? I'm sorry. You can do graph too. You can hit that one. No, no, no. I was like saying after that you put graph, right? Yeah, hit graph. Yeah. And it should come up with this. Well, it just, I mean, it for a very brief, brief moment came up just like that, but then it, it fizzled out and says error. You must have something typed in wrong on your, go back to your, I can't see. Go back to yeah. your stat and edit. And make sure all your numbers are typed in. Because you should have that right there. I just won't show up. Pendleton, how are y'all coming? Did y'all get it to type out? Did y'all get it to graph? Okay, let's do this the elementary way. On the left, in the blue shirt, did you get yours to graph? I don't have my calculator, so I've been writing it down. Okay, how about the next one? Did you get yours to work? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay, next. Um, I actually walked in late, so I missed what you were doing. Okay, we're, we're plotting this. Put this in your notebook right here. One, two, three, four, five, this table right here. And you need to punch these in your calculator under stat and edit. Next. I was late too, so I missed it. Okay, I just told you what to do. Miss Jordan. Miss Jordan, right? Is it Miss Jordan? No, Miss Kennard. Okay, what's your last name? I thought it was Jordan. No, it's Kennard. Oh, Kennard, that's it. Okay, I'm sorry. Did, did, did you get it down. typed in? I wrote it down. Okay, next. I wrote it down, but on my calculator. Okay. I can't believe, I mean, I'm glad you don't have your calculators. That's a good thing. Okay, that means you're not on the calculator drill team. That's great. But, Miss uh, Oconee Campus, Miss uh, White. Hmm. You got it down? Um, yeah, my graph's just not showing up. I don't know why. Okay, did you change the window? Um, yeah, but it's just empty and I don't know why. Hit window and make sure you're 0 to 14 and 0 to 100. Okay. And then hit graph and it should come up. It's here. Miss Shuttleworth, did you get yours fixed? No, sir, it is. It comes up for like a second and then it just says error syntax. Okay, go to y equals. Hit y equals and see if you got something in there. Oh, shoot. Yes. <laughs> there it is, look. Oh my God. It's a miracle. Sorry, right. I don't know these things. <laughs> now, that's all right. That's a good thing. All right. Now, how do you find the model that goes with that? You hit stat. Go to calculate and go down to quadratic regression. Hit enter and it defaults to L1 and L2. You just hit calculate. And there it is. You need to write that down.
I'll go through it again. But write down that information. I did it. <laughs> you did it? <laughs> Miss Shuttleworth must be in Siberia or somewhere because she's locking up. She's freezing up a little bit. So. It just sounds a little, like, iffy, but it's all good. I can still hear you. <laughs> okay. So our quadratic is negative 0.68x squared plus 9.39x plus 55.66. Okay? Now, this is important if you are asked to set up a model for a quadratic. I thought it would be important for you in case you have to maybe, you know, take a standardized test and you're using a calculator, they let you use them on some standardized tests, and they want you to find the model. And what they're doing is basically putting the best fit for this line. Basically, is what they're doing. All right? So that's how you use it. Again, I'll go over it again. Second, I'm sorry, stat, calculate, and then go do quadratic regression and go to calculate. And there it is. Question on that. So you might have a question or two on the test from that. And again, uh, about half of your test is going to be calculator driven. All right? Half of your test is going to be, you know, find the ending behavior of this function. Or how many turns does this function have in it? Well, you can actually find that out by saying 2 minus 1 because you take the degree of the function, which is 3 or 4 or 5. In this case, it's 2. And you say 2 minus 1, you always subtract 1. So this thing turns one time. And it does. It turns one time right there. Okay? So it's not a big deal. A lot of this is calculator driven. And a lot of 4.1, I think, in 4.2 is calculator driven except for long division. Question on that? Okay. And they show you. And if you wanted to graph that, you would have to type that in. Somebody give me that function, and I'll type it in. What was it? Negative what? Y'all wrote down the stuff. What is it? Negative what? Point six eight. Point six what? Six eight. Six eight x squared. Plus 9.39x. Plus 55.66. And now hit graph. And there's how it fits. And now you can use that equation to predict what will happen at 15 or 16 or 20 or whatever. In other words, what will happen whatever this is, if this is right here, this is 14, what will happen at 15 and 16? What will the value be? And you can predict. And that's where you really see the application of this, um, especially in the business economics. You're going to see a lot of this. Okay? All right, that's enough. I just wanted to make sure you understood how to do that. Okay. Now, four point, I think four point two, I think is what I wanted to go over today. Well, I had four point two pulled up, but evidently there it is. Four point two. And we talked about higher degree, and a lot of this is calculator. All right. Um of course, you can plug in two and three. Uh, you, you know how to plug and chug. That's not what I'm asking. Here, you plug in and you go to the table. You can find the y values. Again, a lot of you, go ahead and type that function in. x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 1. Give you all a second to type that in. I'll pull up the handy dandy calculator. And you're going to have to turn the stat plot off. 
Turn the stat plot off because you can't do two things at one time. So turn the stat plot off and then go to y is equal and then type it in. That's going to be x cubed. And this is a test question. This is this is the kind of problem I would give you on a test. Not asking you to do the window, but to graph this function. So that's going to be x cubed minus 2x squared minus x. Oh, well, I just cleared it. Sorry. Sorry. I suck. X cubed minus, y'all see, I really do suck at calculators. And this board doesn't really help, but I do the best I can. Minus 2x squared minus x plus 1. And graph, and of course that's not it. I'm going to zoom 6. There's the function. Now, you see you got a local min and a local max, or a local max and a local min. First of all, what's 3 minus 2? I'm sorry, what's 3 minus 1? 2. So you got two terms. Okay, you always take the degree, which is the third degree, the x to the third. So it's the third degree. And you subtract one, and that's how many turns you have. So you got two turns, and you've got a local min and a local max. What if I want to find them? We'll hit second trace. Well, second trace and hit maximum. I'm trying to work with this calculator, and it's just not. It's the Russians. They beat me up yesterday, threw me in a van, told me who to vote for. Did that happen to y'all too? They, they hurt you. All right, there's the maximum, negative 2 and 1.11, so write that down. Did they? Well, that's the first thing they do is steal your calculator. Now I want you to find the men. Each one of you find the men. How long did I give y'all to take the test? An how hour long? and 30 minutes. No, how long as far as days? A week. Oh. <laughs> a week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Had an email from one of my classes saying that uh, they didn't know we had the test. Um, Hubert? Yes. Did you um, get the um, graph to zoom out like that again? Zoom six. Just hit zoom and then the number six. That's called zoom. Is it zoom standard? I think that's mm -hmm. zoom standard. And this Got is it. I found you just have to push enter. Right. Well, you don't. What it wants you to do. Let me let me show you what it does. And I don't know if I've told you. I get y'all mixed up with the 109s, so I get kind of confused sometimes. When you hit, when it asks for the when it asks for the left zoom and the right bound, or left round, left, whatever. It's basically narrowing down the processing to one little point. So instead of doing the whole line, you're telling it to go over here and do between that point and between that point. And it just makes it faster instead of going through the whole line. Okay, so hit enter. And somebody write that down, that's your min. 1.55 and negative 1.63. And of course, you round accordingly, depending on what the directions tell you to do. Now, what else can I do here? Well, you can pull up the table. Okay, there's the table. You can pull it up right here where it says table, second, table. And there's the table. 
Now, can I adjust this table? Can I get it to do decimals? Yes. You go to second table set. And you tell it if I want to do it in 0.5 increments. Enter. Enter, whatever. And hit second table. And now I'm doing decimal enter by X. I can take it to two decimal places or three decimal places, whatever I want to. And that's for y'all to play around with. Y'all can play around with that. I don't really, you know, I'm not into that. But, you know, play around with it, change it so you can see what it does. Second, table set, change it to 0.25. And now it's going to read what? In increments of what? Quarters. Now, it's going to read X as increments of quarters because we don't have any control over what? Y, because X is, de is independent. Y is dependent, which depends on what? X. So when you say 0.5 or 0.25 or 1, then you're talking about X. So I'm going to change it back to 1 second table set and then change this to 1. And if I want to start it at negative 100, I could start it at negative 100. If I want to start at zero, second table, second table. There. And see, when I hit the up button, well, it's supposed to start at zero. I don't know why it didn't start. Huh. This calculator, sometimes it don't take what I say. Second. Table set, say zero, enter, and now second table. Okay, it's not supposed to do that, but evidently it's not taking one of them. I don't really care about that anyway. Okay, but you can play around with it. You can actually do second table set, and you can ask about why right here. Uh, where when X ask hit that right there and you can go to second table and you can type in 42 and it'll tell you what the Y is at 42 what about negative 8 Hubert type in negative 8 and so some people like to use that because you can actually just type in what you need what about 3.2 or 2.3. So I don't know how many of you knew this. If you know up and down, then you pretty much are on the calculator drill team. If you've never seen this before, then you probably you're not on the calculator drill team. All right. Some people know how to go in and change that. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Okay. But anyway, that's how you can play around with the table. Okay. It's not essential. All I want you to be able to do is be able to graph, be able to find the max, the min, the intercepts. What if I want to find the x-intercepts? I go through and I hit second, calculate, zero. Zero is a 25 cent word for x-intercepts. And I'm going to go over here and put the left bound right there, right bound right there, and so the x-intercept on the left is negative 0.81, or 80. Let's find the other x-intercept. Second, trace, zero, and go over here. Left bound, right bound, and left. And there it, oh, I did the wrong thing, I'm sorry. I suck. Calculate, quit, calculate. Let me do that over. Zero. I did the dagdum, what you call it. Okay, right here, there, and there, and there. There's your second, 0.5549. And what about the third? Well, second, trace, zero, and right there, and right there, and go down, 
And there's your third x-intercept. Okay? So you got three intercepts. How do you know you got three intercepts? Well, what's it raised to? The what power? X to the what? Third. So you're going to have three x-intercepts because it crosses the x-axis three times. Now, what if you wanted to find the x-intercepts by hand? Well, then you would have to set zero equal to this, and then that's where we're going to get into long division. Capiche? Okay, okay, Hubert. Yes. I hit on second and then trace, but it still will not let me find the zero value of y. It keeps skipping negative 0.5 and 0.5 on both sides of the line. And what are you doing? I hit second, and then I hit trace, and then I went down to the zero. I hit enter. And second, trace, and go to zero. And then you got to move it. Which one you want to find? The left one, the middle one, or the right one? The right one. Okay, then I'm going to put it right below the, the, the x-axis, right there. And I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to hit above it. And I'm going to hit enter. And then the guess is going to be as close as I can get it and just hit enter. Okay. Also, I want to take away your laptops and y'all start doing what? Playing on your phones. Okay. You know, when y'all do y'all's evaluation of this class and tell everybody how bad I am, I also get to evaluate this class. Okay? And all these little things that are being done, I'm going to write down. Okay, so the next person that comes up and asks me how to do a question, I'm going to start texting while you're asking me a question. How would that make you feel? Anybody want to answer? How would that make you feel? Pendleton, how would that make you feel? Not good. It's rude, isn't it? Oconee, how would that make you feel? Upset. How would it make y'all feel? Disrespected. But I guess it's okay since you're doing it to the teacher. Or you just think I'm ignorant and can't see you doing it. I can't do math. I don't know why you can't do math. You can't follow simple A directions. All right. So let's talk about this problem right here. Here's where we get into long division. Now, I've gotten several of y'all sent me emails or texts that says, I have no earthly idea how to do long division. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right? If y'all can stop doing everything but math and just watch for a few minutes. Let me go ahead and put the whiteboard up. I don't know why I don't have it up. I thought I had it up. I suck. And they don't put it right here, so I have to go out of it. So frustrating. Like I said, 2024, maybe. Oh, I need to tell y'all about faculty staff work day. I need to tell y'all about that. That was that was funny. Did you get a lot done? This is no joke. We still have people doing posters at Tri County Tech. Posters. They're presenting with posters. Did y'all did y'all get that? <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm just um, one day we'll have to have a gripe session. I'll just have to tell y'all about that. <laughs> yeah, it was a waste of day, wasted time, waste of time. Kind of hard to take seriously people that are still in the. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Still in the uh, what century? That gun 20 years ago. All right, here we go. We're going to take and take x minus 3. And we're going to divide it into 3x cubed minus 
zero x squared minus two x plus five x to the zero. Now there's a couple things I did here that's not in the question. Let's take our handy dandy red highlighter or red pen. I put this here, I put this here, I put this here, and you can put a plus here if you want to, I don't care. Zero. What's five plus zero? Five. five. What's five minus zero? Five. So it doesn't matter if you put a plus or negative. I put this here. And I put this here. Now those red areas I put in. Why? Because I want to make y'all confused. I want to. No. Don't want to confuse y'all. No. <laughs> because the rule of long division is all place values have to be accounted for. Now, if you don't do this, then when you're in the middle, how many of you have done long division and gotten in the middle of the problem and totally just got confused? Okay, several of y'all have done that, and that's why. A lot of people cannot, do not, for, don't, do not remember that first rule of long division, and that's why they get confused. And then they eventually quit in the middle of the problem. And just go on to another problem. Okay, now somebody asked, why did I why did I set it up like that? Well, which way do we read? Left or right? So x to the first, that's our first. See, this is x to the first right here. So that's our first one right there. So this one's got to be x to the zero. Yep, everything's accounted for there. So I don't have to add anything. Okay, what about here? I've got Three, one, zero. Am I missing anything? I'm missing the x squared term, so I got to put it in. That's why I do. That's why I do this. Okay, I'm gonna change the color. Okay, I'm not getting y'all confused. I do this. Okay, the blue is what I do as a student. I did it as a student. Now, I realize that some of y'all invented long division, and you don't need that. Okay? But for the ones of us, the 99% of us that don't know everything, we need it. Okay? So I put in the blue. I put that in because I want to see what's missing. And when I see what's missing, I put it in there. And what's missing? The term that's missing is the x squared term, so I put in a 0x. Now, have some be people been taught to just leave that space open? Yes. And this is what it looks like when you leave, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just erased the whole thing. Sorry. So this is what they do. X. The things I do for y'all. X <laughs> minus 3 into... 3x squared, 3x cubed, plus, and they just leave it, and then they do minus 2x plus 5. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's not the way I teach it. Okay? You can do it. If you're used to doing that, that's fine, but that's not the way I teach it. I teach it, first of all, to fill in everything. That's x to the first, and that's x to the zero. And then this is x to the first, and that's x to the zero. So I'm missing a squared term, so I'm going to put in 0x squared. That's the way I do it. That's the way I teach it. Now, the only thing that you have to worry about is this guy right here. That's the only thing that you have to worry about. It's kind of like the kite. Okay, the kite that flies in the air. What follows the kite? What's behind the kite? The tail. The tail. Okay. Does the tail 
tell the kite what to do or does the kite tell the tail what to do? The kite does the flying and the tail does what? It follows behind. All right? This is the kite right here. This 3x to 0, that's the tail. You don't need to worry about that. All, you, all it does is follow. Because a lot of students look at this and they go, how many times will x minus 3 go into x cubed plus 0x? I don't know. That's the first thing they say to themselves. I don't know. You don't worry about the x minus 3. You worry about the what? The x. And this is where your exponential laws come into effect. Okay? How many times... And don't just blurt out the answer because the first two answers y'all going to blurt out are going to be wrong because one of them is going to say 2 and the other one's going to say uh, another number and it's not going to be right, okay? Somebody's going to say 3 and somebody's going to say, okay? How many times will x go into 3x cubed? 3x squared. I don't squared. believe it. Somebody said the right answer. Yes, 3x squared. Because I have some people that go, that go all kinds of different things. Okay? So, X will go into, I want to make sure I'm hitting the black. There we go. X, that's a 1. 1 will go into 3, 3 times. And X to the first will go into X to the third, X squared. Now, let's go back to the second, third, fourth grade. Let's go back. How many times will three go into seven? Two, two. two times. What do you do? You multiply. Two times three is what? And what do you always do here? Okay, so let's do that. We learned that back in the sixth and seventh. Well, some of us, I learned it in the twelfth grade. Some of y'all <laughs> learned it in the third grade. What's three times one? One, uh, three. <laughs> X to the first. X to the third. Now the, kite, the tail follows the kite. How many times? What's three times negative three? Negative nine. Negative nine. I don't know why I wrote it positive. Oh. You're skipping steps. No, I'm it's the alcohol. Minus... <laughs> Nine, and what's x to the second times x to the zero? x to the second. What do we always do? We always subtract. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can say, I'm going to subtract, or I'm going to distribute the negative. I don't care how you do it, you get the same answer. I'm going to distribute the negative. So I'm going to put a minus right there, and I'm going to distribute it with this term and what? this term, and this is going to turn into a negative 3x, and this is going to turn into a what? A positive. And now what do we do over here? 7 minus 6 is what? 1. That's what we're going to do here. What should happen to your first column all the time? It should cancel out. What is 0x squared plus 9x squared? 9x squared. And you bring down the negative 2x to help out. All right, now you redo it again. You do the same process over again. So how many times will 1x go into 9x squared? Nine x. What's nine times one? Nine. And what's x times x? X squared. What's nine times negative three? Negative twenty-seven. And what's x times x to the zero? X. You always subtract, and that's going to turn this into a negative, and this into a positive. What happens to the first column? It cancels. And what's negative 2 plus 27? 25x. Bring down the 5 to help out. Do it again. How many times will 
1x go into 25x? 25 times. What's 25 times x? 25x. What's 25 times negative 3? Negative 75. We always subtract, and that's going to make this a negative and this a positive. What happens to the first column? And 80 is your remainder. Now, we'll talk about how to write that in just a minute. But right now, I just want to understand. Okay. Now, it's very important that you write down everything that I'm doing here because it's not going to, when you get home and you try to do the problems, you're going to have to have some reference to what you're doing. Now, there's two ways to write the answer. One is, let's go back to third grade, 3 into 7. 2 times, 2 times 3 is what? 6. You always subtract. That leaves 1. You put 2 with the remainder 1. Or you can what? 2 and what? 1 over what? 3. Here we can say 3x plus 7, and we can put remainder of what? 80. Or we can rewrite the 80 over what? I'm sorry, what? X minus 3. Question. Now, you will have several of these on the test. Why? because I want you to make life miserable for you? No. It's one of these things that you have to have. Okay, remember me telling you you have to have the shortcuts? Well, you have to know how to divide by long division. There is no way around it. If you choose not to learn it, then you're basically choosing to change careers and not take calculus because you're going to have to, you're going to, have to know how to do it. Okay? So let's see if that's what they got. And bring down, blah, 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 blah. There it is. So let's try nerding. Let me go to, let's go to the whiteboard and let's make up one. X minus 3 into X squared plus 4X minus 2. Now, I went ahead and made sure everything was in order, so you don't have to add anything. I just want you to actually just run through the process. And remember, you're only worried about this guy. So go ahead and start.
How many times will x go into x squared? X times, good. X times x is x squared. X times negative 3 is, good job. Always subtract. I throw in, I distribute, so that's going to be a negative here and a positive here. And what happens to the first column? Goes out. And what's 4 plus 3? 7. 7x. Seven the 2 comes down to help out. How many times will x go into 7x? Seven, 7 times. 7 times x is 7x. Seven, 7 times negative 3 is negative what? 21. 21. Always subtract which means I'm going to distribute and that's going to give me a column on the left going out and negative 2 plus 21 is 19 so I can write that R19 up here or I can say 19 over X minus 3 and sometimes they put a comma right here just so you don't get this mixed up with this it's not like this two and one third okay you know that that two is a mixed number you know that but sometimes when you write x plus seven 19 over x minus three it can get a little bit complicated so what they do is they put a comma right there sometimes they'll they'll say most of the time i don't i don't know really because we'll look at a couple of the problems and see Let's go, let's go do that so we can actually answer two birds with one stone. Kill two birds with one stone. Not answer two birds with one stone. I've never talked to a bird before. <laughs> so. It's just one of those things I do when I'm drunk, I guess. Talk to birds. <laughs> answer their greatest questions. Yeah. I've heard of a bird that's not taking that medicine. Okay, good. Yeah, well, it's really bad when you start talking to animals, yeah. <laughs> Well, how about that LSU Alabama game? I really don't think there's any team except for Georgia that can beat, and I'm not really sure that Georgia can beat. Them. I don't think they can. I don't think, and that's and, and you, 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 I'm a Georgia fan, okay? I really don't see. I wouldn't bet money on Georgia beat. I mean, I'd be more than happy. And Georgia's tough, but more Alabama's happy. more tough. <laughs> they just wear you down. It's just like it's just like a prize fighter. Just playing with you and just making you punch and punch and punch. And then the last couple of rounds, they just unload on you. So I pretty much, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much have given up on the the national championship for Clemson, for not Clemson, but for uh, Georgia. If, if anything, LSU showed that their offense is capable of being stopped. Yeah. And if LSU's offense can be stopped, then I'm not, I'm not too sure Georgia's can't be stopped. All right, I'll shut up. Let's see, this is 4.2, isn't it? I think it's 4.2. Let me see if I can find one to really discourage you, make you quit. I don't go over synthetic division because it's restricted, and why show you something that's restricted? So, I mean, we could do those with long division. Long division is doable by any method. All right, there's one. I, I don't, I don't just ignore the directions. Find the quotient. In other words, I'm dividing. Well, let me find. I, I don't like the way that's written. All right, do that one. Just don't use synthetic because I don't teach synthetic. Is it always going to be just X? Or it could be P. I mean, yeah, it could be X squared. I'll, get, I'll show you that in just a minute. Right, no. If you'll let me be in charge for a while. X plus 2. I'm kidding. X plus 2. And I'm going to divide that into 4X cubed plus 0X squared minus 17X minus 4X to the 0. And again, I'm doing that again. Why? Because I've got to insert what? I 
want y'all to answer, you know. That X squared. Because what? It's missing. Why is it missing? Because when I put in these, these degrees, or these exponents, when I put those in, I notice that what? I've got something missing, so I put in that 0x squared because I have a place value missing. And you'd be surprised on how many people have learned how to do long division once they learn that one step because they just wasn't taught. Or they didn't what? They didn't listen. Or the Russians beat them up and threw them in a van. Stole the calculator. Yeah, it's called a calculator. Yeah, I was just I was just going outside getting my mail. I was gonna go vote. And this white van pulled up, threw me in the back of the van, beat me up <laughs> to vote for somebody. Man. It's awful. That's I right. I called the police, they didn't show up. I tell that story, Mr. Bass, and I have students that have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> they have no idea. I mean, it's a joke, but they have no idea. No, they don't listen. It's current yeah, events. Yeah, that was two news. I tried to know what you said before. What? I just know to agree with you. You just agree with me? I just know to agree with you. Oh, okay. I have no idea what you're talking Okay, about. that's fine. <laughs> I was doing math. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I distracted you, Mr. Bates. That's why you're going to fail, right? Because I distracted you. All right. No. Oh, well, you can fuss at the... Re mm, shut up. You can fuss at the... I got to fuss. I'm fussing you. You can fuss at the DAs for that. That decide to watch Hulu and don't think I will find out about it. And if I pull up a video, I'll get a student to complain that we're watching videos in math. Oh my God. But they can watch Hulu on their computer and not say a word. <laughs> kind of like double standard. What was that? Was that a laugh? <laughs> or was that, a, was that a puppy dog or something? <laughs> All right. So how many times will X go into 4X to the third? 4x squared, I'm impressed. So here we go. 4x squared times x is 4x to the third. 4x squared times 2x to the zero is 8 what? 8x squared. We always subtract. When we subtract, we distribute, and that becomes a negative and a negative. What happens to that first column? It's supposed to cancel every single time. And we get, what's 0 minus 8x squared? Dang old minus 8x squared. Dang old bring 17 to help out. <laughs> okay, now we got to think in reverse. So how many times will x go into negative 8x squared? Negative, 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 negative 8x times. Negative 8x <laughs> times 8x. Negative 8x times x is negative 8x squared. Negative 8x times 2x to the 0 is what? 16x. We always subtract. That's going to make this a positive and this a positive. And what happens to the that cancels? And negative 17 plus 16 is negative 1x. And the negative 4x comes down x to the 0 is negative 4. So Now, will x, how many times will x go into negative 1x? Negative 1 times. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times 2 is what? You always subtract. That makes this a positive and this a positive. And that cancels. What's negative 4 plus 2? 
Now, let's see how they want it written. Doesn't give you anything. They may just want you to write down the 4x squared minus 8x minus 1. I have no idea. I'm just going to type in a 3 because I'm lazy. Okay? And I type. My typing sucks. So that's why I'm just going to write in a 3. Well, I'd rather be going over questions. They want the whole thing. That's how you write it. That's what they're... It just disappeared. Okay, well, we'll do the next one. Is it, was it question 12? Yeah, but it won't show it. Damn Russians. All right, there we go. X to the fifth minus 1 divided by X minus 1. This one you just quit, right? Uh -huh. Because it's too what? It's, it's too hard. It's too hard, too long. Don't even try. X to the first minus 1 X to the zero over X to the fifth. And then we got minus 1 X to the zero. So we got to fill in plus. 0x to the 4th plus 0x to the 3rd plus 0x squared plus 0x. That's one of those annoying, you know, like when, uh, like when Plankton hypnotizes SpongeBob and he plays that annoying phone. Her, Did you guys hear that piano? What? Did you guys hear that? The, the computer just started like ringing really loudly. Okay. Yeah. Well, as long as you didn't hear it. Yeah, ringing <laughs> one of those annoying tones. Yeah. Yeah. Go see. <laughs> okay, now. Y'all ready to quit? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Actually, it's not going to be that difficult. You don't have to think that much. Let me do it. Okay, I'll let y'all do it. Golly, I got students that want to be challenged. God. What's the world coming to? I know. You're supposed to just sit and not do anything. Yeah, let me look at it right quick and I'll tell you the answer. I'm just impressed that y'all were wanting to try. I figured y'all would have quit on this one. Miss Shuttleworth, you quit yet? Not yet. I was pretty close to it the other day. Oh, wow. Good. <laughs> I spent like an hour on this one problem because I didn't know how to use the graphing calculator, and mm -hmm. then it was showing me, like, this way to do it without it, but it took me, like, literally two hours. You should have quit. I did. When the tough gets going, <laughs> you quit. You didn't know that? <laughs> I did. I went and ate something and watched Netflix. I was getting stressed. 
We should have watched it while you're doing math. That's the that's the rage right now. All right. So, how many times will x to the first go into x to the fifth? x to the fourth. X to the fourth times x to the first is x to the fifth. x to the fourth times one x to the zero is what? Negative x to the what? You always subtract. See the things I do for y'all, switching colors and y'all just so I'm colorblind. I, I tell you what, <laughs> that figures. All right, and what is zero x to the fourth plus one x to the fourth? One x to the fourth, and the okay, zero x cubed comes down. And how many times? Will x to the first go into x to the fourth? x to the third. x to the third times x to the first is x to the fourth. And x to the third times negative one is negative. Sorry. Uh, I know, I suck. Negative geez. x to the third. You always subtract. And that first column goes out, and you get 0x to the third plus 1x to the third is x to the what? Third, the 0x squared comes down to help out. And how many times? Be plus x squared, x squared, x to the third, x squared, negative x squared. Always subtract. That's going to give you x squared. Bring down the x to the first. And how many times will x go into x squared? x times. And that's going to give you x squared minus x. That's supposed to be x to the first, sorry. And that's going to give you, that's going to go out. And that's going to give you what? Negative what? Negative x. And bring down the negative 1. And how many times will x go into negative x? Negative 1. Negative 1 times x squared is negative x. Negative 1 times that would be a positive 1x or 1. And you always subtract. That's going to make a positive. That's going to make a negative. That goes out. Negative 1 minus 1 is what? Negative 2 remainder. Yeah, would it not like keep it positive? Where? When you distribute the negative, so stay positive like on the, the remainder. And yeah, negative x or x squared minus x. Shouldn't that be x squared plus x? Let me check. Negative 1. Times negative that x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And when you distribute, that becomes a positive, and this becomes a, I mean, this becomes a, what did I say? Let's see, negative, that would be a negative. That becomes a positive, and that becomes a positive. You put negative 1 on the top, that's where I got positive 1, and then never. Because, like, the x on the bottom is a negative. Yeah, right. And it's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be? Oh, it's supposed to be positive right here. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Then that's going to be a positive. So it's zero. Let's see, positive two. Is that what you got? Positive two. Now I'm not typing all that in. I'm going to type three in right quick, and hopefully it won't take off like a bat out of Hades, like the Pendleton campus five minutes before class. A <laughs> five enter check answer. I'm gonna hit it just one more time. Yeah, there. I didn't get a yeah, remainder. You wouldn't have a remainder. Okay, so well if I don't have a remainder, I don't. Let's see if I got the. I got the, the reason I got that last one wrong is because I had to get go from the bottom to the top. I'm sorry. X to the fourth plus X to the third plus X squared plus X minus. Plus one. It's supposed to be plus one. So yeah, if it's plus one, 
then you would not have a remainder. So I messed up that last section. My, my, I'm sorry, plus one. So that's your answer. You're not supposed to make mistakes. Well, when you, I run out of board. I'm sorry. I suck. <laughs> oh, how many times will X go into negative X? Or suppose, oh, how many times? Is that something mm. wrong? Oh, positive X right here. That's supposed to be a positive X. There's where I went wrong. That's where I, and that's supposed to be a negative. Let me rewrite that because I had this all screwed up. Okay. I have a positive X, and then I bring the negative X, negative 1 down. There we go. How many times will X go into X? One time. 1 times x is x. 1 times negative 1 is what? Negative 1. You subtract, that makes this that, so you have a zero remainder. That goes out, and that goes out. Thank you. We're finding that error. So if you can do that question, you pretty much can do long division. But we'll do one more. Just I want to try to get one with x squared. So that way everybody will be happy with themselves. We'll make sure what time it is because some people are going to go into spontaneous combustion. That's why they have fire extinguishers. I don't, I don't, you know, if people hate my class so much, I don't know why they come to it. Are you All you got to do is just take the test at home. They don't. <laughs> what? They don't. Well, yeah, we still have some come. They act like they, it's painful to oh, come to my class. Okay, I'll give you another one. I'll give you one on the white, but just so you'll have it in your notes. Because they don't have one in here because evidently they don't think y'all are smart enough to do it. So... Yeah. What is math? I don't know. What is life? Are those problems what our homework is going to be? I don't know. I had to look. Let me look at them. And I'm just doing long division right now. Yeah, I wish you'd just stick to stick to the subject. Okay, just quit going all over the place. All right, x squared plus three x minus one into Oh God. X to the fourth. Yeah, let's quit. <laughs> plus four X squared third plus minus three X squared plus four X minus two. Ooh. Yeah, I just go ahead and quit on this one. Yeah. I feel like quitting and just going home and yeah. eating my gumbo. Yeah. My <laughs> just just go home and drop down to a liberal arts major and Get a job that doesn't pay anything and complain about the government. Gonna not paying work at huh? yeah. So I'm going to go work at McDonald's. Yeah, make a career out of something that you're supposed to make a high yeah. school job. Yeah. That's yeah, what you should I do. might become a manager one day. Heaven forbid lower, uh, raising the bar. You need to lower the bar. Just send me home early. Hmm. Because I work so hard. Alright, I'm going to let y'all have a couple of minutes to meditate. Om <laughs> While, while y'all are suffering, I'll call the roll. Because we can't have what? Can't have perfect attendance. Nope. That is frowned upon. It's established. Yeah. <laughs> but if you actually do have perfect attendance. Then you get fussed at. Oh, man. I need to go home. I'm not supposed to lie. You get an email saying that you need to check your attendance. There's too many perfect attendances. And we need to look at posters while we're going on faculty staff development. Have posters. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had to do diversity training. Uh, that 
that was dramatic. <laughs> I despise those things. And people say, why, are you racist? No. I just what? treat people I treat people respectively. I don't I don't understand why people don't do that. I treat students the way I want to be treated. Except for the ones that disrespect me and the ones that disrespect me, I call them out. Whether they text in between their legs or whether they watching T V on on Hulu. Oh, I'm not supposed to know if you're texting between your legs. And I won't find out that you're watching movies on Hulu. But then people can't understand why they don't, why they can't do math. God, they just can't figure it out. Man, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is okay. Yes. Okay. No, you're, okay supposed to say, you're supposed to say it's difficult and I can't do it. Yeah, I'm going to quit and throw my notebook across the room. There you go. Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Bays is here. Crocker. Here. Flat. Goolsby is here. Hagen is here. Hawthorne is here. Kahaley. Here. Laney and Darren. Oh Lord, Miss White, is she here? I don't know, I haven't seen her. <laughs> Miss Whiten's attendance is easy to do. <laughs> Baker. Here. Here. Batista. Here. Kane. Here. Herrero. Miss Canard is here. It's here. Do you know why, Miss Canard? You know why I called you Miss Jordan? Why is that? Because I have two cousins. One of them is a Canard. One of them is their name is Kynard. And I have another uh -huh. cousin named Jordan, and I get mixed up sometimes. So that's one of the reasons okay. the word association. That's why I'm not crazy or anything. There's a reason. All right. Lee Park. Here. Mincy. Shuttleworth is here. Stallworth. Here. And Storm. All right. I think that's it. Good. All right, let's go back to the question, and let's see how you did. How many times will x squared go into x to the fourth? X squared. X squared times. X squared times x squared is x to the fourth. X squared times 3x is 3x. I want y'all to interact with me. 3x to the third. x squared times negative 1 is negative what? Negative 1. X squared. You always subtract. That's going to make this a negative, this a negative, and this a positive. What happens to the first column? That's supposed to happen. 4 minus 3 is x cubed. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative what? Negative two x squared. And the 4x comes down to help out. How many times will x squared go into x cubed? X times. X times. X times x cubed squared is x cubed. X times 3x is 3x squared. X times negative 1 is negative what? 1x. You always subtract.
the first column goes out like it's supposed to. Negative 5x squared plus 5x. Bring down the negative 2 to help out. How many times will 5x squared go into 5x squared? Five times. Good job. 5x squared. 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times negative 1 is negative what? 5. You always subtract, which makes this a negative, this a negative, and this a positive. That goes out. What's 5 minus 15? And what's negative 2 plus 5? So that's your, sorry, it's supposed to be positive. So that should be your remainder. So some, somebody tell me, after you get all the place values, how different is the process with the different divisions? Same process over and over and over. Does that letter do this? No. <laughs> what if we want to check ourselves? <laughs> no. Actually, I really don't know. I guess you could yeah. put it in and divide it, and I think you probably would do it. You'd have to put this in parentheses and then divide it by this. Just do division, and it should do it. I, have a I don't know. I blow the Watch out. You probably have a lot of syntax errors. Who's got a question? Yes, ma'am. Um, okay, I'm looking at um, where you have like x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x, and then you do minus um, 1x cubed, and then it was plus 3x cubed, or 3x, 3x squared, squared plus x, and then you distribute it, and then I got negative 5x squared, so then I thought that on the top it would be minus 5. Okay, you're right. Did I make a mistake? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. You're right. Thank you for catching that. And oh, right say, here, negative 2x squared minus, that's, that just changes the sign. I'm sorry. That's a negative 5x squared. And what is this? 4 plus 1. So that would be a negative 5 right here, right? Mm hmm Does that change? Does that fix it? Let's see. Let's check it. Negative 5x squared minus, that's going to be a minus 15x plus what? Plus 5. And then we're going to distribute, and that's going to be a minus, or it's going to be a plus. That's going to be a plus. That's going to be a plus right here. And that's going to be a what? A minus? Did you get 20x? X minus 7. Okay, that's good. 20x minus 7. Thank you. All right, that's enough for today. Make sure you can do long division. We'll finish 4.2 uh, when y'all come back, whenever that is. Monday. Okay? Y'all get out of here. Have a good day. If you got any questions on your test, let me know. He can send you questions, but we'll never ever be able to go over. What do you mean?